Hi there, this is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about the Maillard reaction. Ever heard of that? It's the definition that the French used, who they were the ones to describe it. It's the chemical changes that happen to food products under high heat, particularly when you mix proteins and carbohydrates and fats together. When you put barbecue sauce on meat on the grill, when you fry anything with fat and carbohydrates together, so making french fries. And there's a whole bunch of other things happen. There's like thought to be three stages to it. You get all sorts of weird chemical reactions like the Amadori rearrangement of one amino, one deoxy, two ketose. See if you can make sense of that. But let's talk about just acrylamide. Acrylamide is made abundantly when you make french fries. So anytime you go to a fast food place or a restaurant and get a whole plate full of, of french fries, you've had oils and carbohydrates with high heat, and you've made these abnormal chemical complexes that are not known to nature. We didn't have cooking till just two million years ago. We ate stuff raw. We're seeing it right in front of our eyes. Our pets are getting cancer like we've never seen before. That's happening to our food products. If you take a can of pet food and open it up, you've got brown gravy in there. If you take a bag of dried dog food, it's got brown product on it. That's probably all from these various Maillard reactions from using high heat to make those foods. We need to think about that. Probably less grilling and less high heat cooking is probably better for us. It's certainly better for our pets. What, why will that work for me? Because I've had two dogs who died of cancer in just the last eight years. We just got a new puppy, beautiful Cocker Spaniel, and I'm buying her freeze-dried, freeze unheated food to get rid of that Maillard reaction. And I'm thinking about more vegetables and less high heat cooking for myself. You should probably too. And if you want to do a deep dive into chemistry, look up the Maillard reaction. And Google and read about it. This is Dr. John Whitcomb for News and Nutrition. The Maillard reaction from high heat cooking is lousy for all of us.